Godolphin Lifetime Care has a beautiful new home, but they're still doing the same fantastic work. Over the years, so many former track stars have been rehomed and gone on to great new careers. And there's around 10 of them here at the moment, including Comicast, who was such a star for Charlie Appleby at Maydad. Godolphin Lifetime Care is now based in Newmarket, with access to some stunning paddocks and riding facilities. When the horses arrive, they spend six months in the field under the care of Geraldine, who is in charge of helping them begin to wind down from the rigours of training. It's there that we find 2018 Group 2 Godolphin Mar winner Heavy Metal, who is making the most of his acres of grass, in company with his buddy King's Command, a Group 3 winner in France for Charlie Appleby. Retired in 2020, sprinter Comicas is ahead of Heavy Metal in the retraining process and is already showing promise and a regular rider, Tara Murphy. Silla explains more. He is in his raw stages, so he's just starting a bit, bit of written, ridden work. But he's, he's doing really, really good. He's so genuine, kind, honest. Um, I could see him going to do any kind of career, really, although obviously, because he's just starting, we haven't done any pole work yet, but I cannot imagine that it would phase him. Generally, most of them will pop a pole. Um, if, if they've had injuries where I, I wouldn't want them to go on and, and compete, even though they, they would be capable to jump a little bit, I would say they'd more be for hacking or dressage. But everything we've tried to jump seems to have taken to it fine. We've got two full-time staff that ride, and then Tara comes in and does quite a, li quite a bit of the dressage work for us and, and you know, often starts them off jumping. So how far away is he, do you think, from getting a new home and what you can see today? Uh, from what I, I would say, six to eight weeks, oh, you'd, be, you'd be happy with him because, because right from the start, he's not put a foot wrong. And of course, they're all individuals and they're all, they are all different. I, I just know that he's not, he's not quirky, he's not got any badness in him at all, where he, you know, some of them that are a little bit sharp need a little bit longer. The Godolphin Lifetime Care team have rehomed hundreds of horses over the years, but Silla admits to having a favourite, the six-year-old African Jazz, a winner at Kempton back in 2018. It's got to be African Jazz, it's got to be. He's, I see massive potential in him. You don't know where he'll where he'll go or where he'll end up. You know, he's. I think he's got a big future with Tara. Huge. And he's already jumping. Pretty yeah, fast, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, and you know, you, you know, when we started with him, if if I go right back to we used to loose jump them in the indoor school, he'd be the one that I'd said wouldn't have been really? wouldn't have been that good until Tara came and started riding him. But like loose to, to, to jump on his own, he didn't have any confidence at all. He needed, um, you know, Tara's input to give him that confidence. While Godolphin Lifetime Care aims to find homes for all of their horses, some of those homes mean staying put. Permanent residents at the new market base include two Dubai World Cup winners, 14-year-olds Prince Bishop and African Story. They enjoyed a good rivalry on the track, but are now best friends off it. Sharing their paddock are a couple of Ascot Gold Cup winners, Papino, the old man of the place at nearly 22, and Colour Vision, a sprightly 13. Godolphin Lifetime Care comes under the wider umbrella of the International Federation for the Aftercare of Racehorses. Diana Cooper tells us more. I've, uh, it's now in its, it's just about to finish its fifth year. In that time, we've grown um, a lot of the knowledge around the world in the racing industry of aftercare about thoroughbreds. What horses can do when they've retired from their from their wonderful, illustrious and not so illustrious racing careers. It's for all horses. They deserve their bread for racing. They deserve to have a life after that. From Newmarket to Dubai to the world, Godolphin horses are in good hands throughout their lives. <laughs>